and I'm going to be using the Sephora number 10 crease brush to apply and so I'm going to just start the outer corner and just lightly blend it into the crease so right on top of we that I apply the symmetry eyeshadow just kind of blend it in to where about where the brow starts when you're using a lot of shimmery colors on the lid and brow bone it's good to have um, some matte colors in the crease to create depth Next, I'm going to use this shimmery kind of dark green color um, and apply it over the blue base that I applied earlier. And this color is, you know, very frosty and shimmery and kind of like a sage green color. And I'm going to use um, a flat brush. This is MAC number 239. I'm just going to pat it right on top of the blue. And I'm going to kind of blend it up until it reaches... Um, that hot stone color in the crease. And I kind of use the tip of the brush to shape how I want it. Now to make the eye makeup a little bit more darker, I'm going to apply this dark matte um, peacock color. Uh, it's matte plumage or plumage, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, um, but it's really deep color and I'm going to use a uh, MAC brush number 222. It's a more narrow crease brush and I'm just going to apply this color on the outer corner of the lid and slightly in the crease, not too much. Um, if you want to make this look a little bit more dramatic and um, a little bit darker then you can definitely you know bring it in more in the crease and you know drag uh, blend it out more but I'm just going to apply it right at the outer corner just to create a little bit more depth and I'm kind of doing this in a circular kind of drilling motion just concentrating it there now I'm going to do the top liner using Urban Decay 0 24-7 Glide On Pencil and I'm going to first apply it to the top inner rims I'm going to wiggle it in uh, under the lashes. If your eyes are sensitive or you, know, you don't like things you know, really close to your eye, then um, you can definitely skip this part. I like doing this because um, when I apply my false eyelashes, um, it looks more natural and there's a more cleaner uh, baseline. Next, I'm going to take that same liner and apply it to the top lash line. And I'm going to make the outer edges a little bit more thicker and then kind of thin it out towards the inner corner. But you can, you know, have any kind of eyeliner that you like. You can make it a winged or just a thin line or whatever, you, you know, that you like. Then on top of the black pencil, I'm going to set it with a black eyeshadow. This is Trish McAvoy Black Definer. You can use any um, just matte black shadow that you use. And I'm using an angled eyeliner brush. This is MAC number 266. And I'm going to press it right on top to set it and also intensify the black. Now I've done the left side of my eye makeup, or at least part of it, and I also cleaned up the, all the residue that was under my eye, so um, it's a lot more cleaner. And now I'm going to apply my foundation using MAC Studio Sculpt in the shade NC25, and I'm going to apply it with my MAC 131 brush, and I'm just going to pat it all over, doing kind of like a stippling technique, where you just sort of pat it on. I'm also going to apply the foundation on my lips to conceal the pigment and um, act as a base for my lip products. I'm also going to apply a little bit of concealer under the eyes just to make the um, under eye area a little bit more brighter and conceal the dark circles. And I'm using Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in number 2. And I'm just going to use the same uh, MAC 131 brush to apply. 
I'm just gonna gently pat it and then blend it. Also, um, when you're applying your foundation after your and, and your concealer after your eye makeup, it cleans up the edges um, on the outer edge of the eye, so the overall um, eye makeup is a lot cleaner. Now that I have my foundation and concealer, I'm going to set it with MAC um, Mineralize uh, Natural Powder in light medium. And I'm going to use Sephora number no. 50 powder brush to apply. And I'm just going to pat it right on top. Make sure to set um, the foundation that's on your lips as well. Now I'm going to finish up the eye makeup by first applying MAC Symmetry Eyeshadow using the Smashbox No. 10 brush to the bottom of the eye. And I'm just going to sweep it all the way under. And I'm using this fluffy brush because I want a more soft effect just like um, I did at the top. And it'll create a little bit of a depth when I apply um, other colors on top. Then on top of the Symmetry eyeshadow, instead of the Bobbi Brown Hot Stone eyeshadow that I used in the crease, I'm going to instead use um, the green, frosty green color that I used on the lid. And I'm going to apply the, with um, my MAC number 219 brush. It's a pencil brush and I'm just going to lightly sweep it underneath. I want the eye makeup not to be too dramatic so that's why I'm applying the green instead of like a really you know dark matte color or the you know um, plumage color that I used on the outer corner. I still want to balance the top and bottom of the eye. Then I'm going to use the same Urban Decay uh, 0247 eyeliner and apply it to the bottom inner rim. Next, I'm going to do the highlight colors for under the brow and for the inner corner. And I'm first going to use this shimmery, um, kind of silvery white color, and it kind of has a greenish cast to it or like a little bit of green shimmer that complements these green colors and I'm going to use a MAC brush number 252 it's just a wide flat brush and I'm going to press it right on top of that um, white cream eyeshadow that we applied earlier and just right on, under the brow bone or under the brow on the brow bone and you can see it's very frosty and shimmery um, if you don't have this color, you can just use something, maybe like a silvery white. Then for the inner corner, I'm going to use this light, kind of shimmery mint green. And I'm going to apply it with my MAC uh, brush number 224. It's a fluffy, kind of crease brush. I'm just going to pat that right at the inner corner. And this will blend in really well with that dark green that's on the lid. I'm going to lightly blend it underneath. Now the last thing I need to do for the eyes is apply my false lashes and fill in my brows. But I'm going to do that off camera just to save um, some video time. Um, but I will show you what products I use. And so for the lashes, I'm using Best Kind number 15. It looks like this. And I'm using my Shiremura glue. And for the brows, it's MAC Spiked Eyebrow Pencil, and I'm blending it with uh, an eyebrow brush. This is Shuramura 6OB brush, and then I'm also, um, you know, teaming the brow hair using um, a MAC Clear Brow Set.